Now let's go to the Alibaba update. So while the stock price has done nothing for just about a year, you can see it here, perfectly symmetric by the way. If you believe in fractals, this would imply that the next move should look something like this move, right? So if you take like a reverse butterfly type of thing, uh, we don't put a lot of credence in this, but it's uncanny. And we've talked about the reverse inverse head and shoulders with up to 160, fill the gap to 180, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <laughs> so while price has done nothing, the fundamentals and environment are improving dramatically as volatile as Alibaba has seen for the past year. It's not much different than the S&P as a whole, which has not only done nothing for the past year. Uh, and by the way, these charts look exactly the same, inverse head and shoulders, pain trade up. Um, it has done nothing for the past two years, the, the S&P 500, with a lot of volatility in between. Same upside volatility as downside volatility, but no net progress. And here are the last few hiccups I was asked about by followers on Twitter and friends via email this week, along with my responses. Just the kind of headlines you need to take the final, quote, weak sisters out to the woodshed before the takeoff. So uh, here's a guy named uh, Money Flow Research. As Baba shareholder, very concerning, this letter has asked the Biden administration officials to add Alibaba Cloud to the Commerce Department's export control list, arguing its close ties to China military renders a clear ongoing national security threat. Hedge fund tips, thoughts, question mark. Uh, I said, Ali Cloud is not used in the US anyway. It's like banning Twitter in China. No one uses it there. Understood, but this is also in the article. Quote, we urge you to use all available tools to engage in decisive action against these firms through sanctions, export restrictions, and investment bans. Uh, my reply, same story every month. Happy to own the stock in the UK. Uh, I'm sorry, happy to own the stock in Hong Kong or the United States makes no difference to me. So if they ban ownership here, I'll, I'll own it there and vice versa. It makes no difference. Finally, um, if you look here at the traffic, US, US traffic is less than 1%. Um, but what what is key that came out of this, uh, okay, we'll get to it again here, is the growth in Allion, which is AliCloud, in the last three months is off the charts. Last month alone up 89.9% with 46.7 million visits. No one is looking at this. So when you couple this with the clothing thesis and some of the data that Jack shared, I think we're going to have a blowout quarter. Uh, let's hope the Fed is done at that point so we can not only have the blowout quarter, but actually benefit in stock price from the blowout quarter. Uh, and that could be a convergence of everything all at once. Uh, here is Ali Yun's Ali Cloud US traffic. My guess is the traffic is mostly comprised of US senators and their aides looking to ban it as no one uses Ali Cloud commercially in the US. So here it is. China's 90%. Uh, US is uh, 78 basis points. This third response is most important as I referenced it to a friend via an email this yesterday. His question was, quote, I know you're also very bullish on AliCloud. What do you make of the headlines today that Ali, Alibaba is cutting the cost of its cloud service between 15 to 50 percent to win users? Do you think demand is slowing, compete, competition is heating up, or the government told them to do so? Either way, probably not positive for margins, question mark. My answer, two items on Alian. Number one, Chinese traffic for Alian in the last three months since the reopening is off the charts. You can see it here uh, from 20 million visitors to 46 million visitors in three months. OK, talk about a reopening up 90 percent month on month from February to March alone. Couple that with 10 cent, which is uh, around half the visitors and much slower growth since the reopening in January. They've only grown 17 percent in the last month and from 15 to 24 in the last three months. Allian currently has 36% share and is competing to gain share against Aliba uh, uh, Baidu, Tencent, and a few state-owned enterprises. So they're number one by a long shot, but they want to keep it that way and they want to keep pounding their competitors down, just like AWS did when they were in their early growth stage and just like um, um, uh, Tesla is now doing with the electric cars. So this is a razor, razor blade model like Gillette built a built a um, uh, built a massive franchise on basically give away the razor the the handle so that you can sell the razor blades in perpetuity and that's basically what they're doing here because uh, of the high switching costs once you have all your data on Allian or AWS 
the last thing you really want to do is switch to Google or switch to Microsoft Azure, uh, or in the case of Alley Cloud, switch to uh, uh, Tencent or some other thing. You want to stay there. And once you've got them and you control the customer, then you can upgrade. And they're going to make all their money on generative AI and other uh, uh, software upgrades uh, and products That's that's once they once they control the market share. And I think this 36 is going to go to 45 because a lot of their competitors got knocked out during the lockdown. And so what they need to do right now is they need to sweep up all the share that they can at any cost and then turn on the services spigot over time for margin expansion. Amazon followed the same strategy until they reached scale and their margins expanded tremendously. Furthermore, share growth and share gain and growth is of more importance ahead of the IPO valuation than margins. So this piece could be IPO. They want to get the biggest possible valuation they can. And when it comes to this business, it's not cash flow that's going to get the big valuation. It's revenue growth and it's uh, and it's share growth that's going to get get the highest valuation, uh, especially considering how early days cloud conversion and digitization is in China. Same game Musk is playing. He's the leader squeezing the entrance until he owns the space. And it's the same game that Bezos played, which made him the richest man in the world when he said, quote, your margin is my opportunity and Allian will be no different. They're going to be number one. They are number one. They're going to continue to be number one. They're going to get bigger and then they're going to have the resources to offer the best services and, and just turn on the cash flow spigot. And it's just going to be a beast. Ten million, ten billion dollars of operating income, which will take the um, uh, operating income 66 percent higher than when it was at the peak when the stock was trading at 319. And we're going to be off to the races as the whole climate changes and you get the chase up and you get the FOMO and the despondency turns to euphoria and off to the races. Uh, but we're not there yet. And we, we anticipate that's coming sooner than later.